My name is Matt Kerkner. Today I'm a missionary pastor to Cambodia. The road getting here involved some pain. I grew up in a Christian home. Starting at puberty, I was attracted to the boys and had no attraction to the girls. To me, that was a curse. I knew it was wrong to follow that temptation, but with the hormones raging in the teen years and early 20s, I began to follow it. After all, the gay world looks so glamorous. In order to begin acting on it, I had to numb myself first. I began drinking and drugging. I thought I could find happiness in men. I did find short-term thrills, some short-term happiness, but I never found enduring peace, love, or joy. Chasing one cheap thrill after another, my life had no meaning. I felt hopeless. Why am I even here? After about 10 years, I was surrounded by tragedy and severely addicted. Finally, I could see the harsh realities behind the glamorous gay facade. Deception, STDs, suicides, overdoses, slavery to addiction. If I continued, my end would soon be a quiet funeral like many of my friends. I wanted to live one more day. On that note, the Lord brought me to my knees. In 2010, I repented and gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I began studying the Bible, praying every day, obeying the Lord according to His Word. Satan had used me to lead many down the path of destruction. After the Lord opened my eyes, I could see how Satan had worked in my life. That first-hand experience is invaluable. The Lord enlisted me to fight on the right side of this spiritual war, to win souls for Christ. God forgave my sin in full and turned that forgiven sin into rewarding, fulfilling, life-giving ministry to those on the fringes of society, the marginalized that feel misunderstood, those with high rates of suicide, such as transgender sex workers, that most pastors cannot relate to. It's a custom fit. Praise the Lord. I grew up very timid. If I hadn't been through the fire, if I hadn't suffered with homosexuality and learned to use God's Word to fight against temptation in order to follow Christ, I would be fearful. I would be useless to the Lord, not willing to step up and serve the Lord with boldness. The temptation I once considered to be a curse has driven me, by necessity, to close relationship, dependence on the Lord, which was required in order to walk into my purpose, to experience enduring joy and true satisfaction in Christ. The Lord forgave me, and He can certainly forgive you. Repent and give your life to Christ. Pray, read, and obey the Bible daily. Walk into your purpose. Discover enjo enduring joy, peace, and satisfaction, true fulfillment in relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, who will never leave, will never forsake you, who has a unique plan, a custom-fitted plan for your life that only you can do. Praise the Lord.